What up students and welcome back to the Jabal Spot and in this video we're gonna be seeing that the most reliable way to play CS2 on your Mac over silicon devices without crashes, good amount of FPS and no lag. So let's begin with the video itself. So the very first thing you have to just go to your Safari and you have to write developer Apple download all. So you have to just go to the search section and you have to write command line tool for Xcode 15. So once you're over here, please make sure you don't download any sort of beta version. Just go to the view details and just download this and it will start automatically. As I have downloaded already, so I'll be not downloading this. Once you are done with this, then you have to write game putting kit. Here it is. It is the beta 4. Again, you have to go for the view details and you have to download this game putting toolkit 1. So once you are done with the downloading these two things, then you have to just install the command line And you are good to go with the installation of the command line toolkit. So once you are done with the installation of the command line toolkit, you have to just open a new terminal window. Once you're over here, so just paste the first command which I have provided in the description and make sure you do all the steps properly. So once you paste the command, just hit enter and it will ask to type A to agree. Just type A and click enter and it will start installing. Once this is complete, so just paste the second command and hit enter. So once you're done with the second command, so just paste the third command and make sure you paste this command very correctly and it will start installing the homebrew. So once you're done with the installation of the homebrew, you have to just check the path of the homebrew. To check that path, you have to just write which brew and you'll be seeing this path. So make sure your path should be look like this. Once you're done with this, you have to install the toolkit. Next step, you have to just copy the fourth command and just hit enter and the fifth command as well. So once you're entering the fifth command, you will be seeing an installation process. On my screen, it's not showing because it is already installed in my laptop. So just be patient with the process because it might take from half an hour to two hours to complete the whole process. So be patient, just keep your laptop on charging and it will happen automatically. So once you are done with the process, then you have to just paste the sixth command. So this will be creating a wine for Windows 10. So once the pop-up came, so you have to just go to here and click on Windows 10 on the Windows version click apply and ok and you are good to go with this thing so once you are done with this again you have to just go to the game porting toolkit just open it and install it and you will be seeing this over here and just come here and paste the seventh command and the eighth command over here so once you're done with this process then you have to just go to the links that i have provided in the description and then you have to just download the dmg file of this porting kit so once the download has been complete just double click and just drag it to the application folder so let's just open the porting kit hit ok and just follow the instruction properly once it's open just go to the library and just click on new custom port just write win over here and you can give any name over here so i'm just writing win over here hit ok and you'll be seeing an installation process just hit next two times to get to the advanced settings over here in the engine you have to just select the d3d metal version 1.0.4 just select this and you have to just check steam over here hit next again next and it will start installing so this might take some time so be patient with the process and you are done with the installation. So just hit close and you will be seeing a play button over here. So just hit that and wait for a while and your Steam will be open. And your Windows version of Steam has been open now. So now you can just log in with your ID. So once you log in with the Steam, so just quit the Steam. And now you can close the porting kit as well. So let's begin with the patching process of this. So now you need to just open up the terminal so now you have to write open applications with a big A, hit enter and you'll be seeing an application folder is here. So once this opens, just right click on the win, show package content and double click on win skin. Just go to the advanced, go to tools and then config utility. So where you have to just go to the libraries and you have to just remove everything which is over present over here. Hit apply, click OK and you can just close this win screen as well so once done with that just go to the contents go to the shared support go to wine go to library go to wine again and stay over here so just paste the next command and hit enter and you will be seeing over here so in this you have to just find game porting toolkit so there are two game porting toolkits so we just need the game porting toolkit open this click again go to the library wine 
and you will be able to see this folder over here so once you are here you need to just copy these two files click command c to copy come here command v to paste and click on apply to all and merge replace won't work so just click on merge and then just cancel these things quit your terminal and now you are good to go just go to here and click on wine and your steam is open now so i've already downloaded cs2 so i'll just restore it so here we are so before running the game we'll be going to the properties go to the general and you can just paste this command over here so in this command you will be seeing there are two things which is the frequency and the refresh rate if you are using any m1 pro macbook pro which has a refresh rate of 120 hertz so just write 120 or else you can just write 60 over here so this is the main command and this will help your gameplay as well so just cancel this thing up and now you are good to go to play cs2 seamlessly without any crashes so for the first time, this might take some time to launch, but after that, it will launch very smoothly. So before playing the game, let's do some of the settings. We'll be going to the settings video. First off, we'll be going for the full screen and we'll be keeping it to the 1312 to 848. For me, it's working well in this. So this game is playing on MacBook Pro M1 Pro. So just hit apply. And if in case you are still getting up the notch, then you can just change this to 820 and your notch will get rid of. After that, just go to the advanced setting. Just go to everything and you have to enable the and for the fx super resolution just disable this and for the anti-sampling mode you can just choose so now we can play this game very efficiently so let's begin with the overpass so let's choose ct side and if in case you want to see your fps for that go again go to the settings go to the game and you have to just enable the developer console hit on yes come back press the key which is left to the one and you can write cl underscore show fps space one and you'll be getting fps on your left hand side so to get more smoother experience again go to the console and just write fps underscore max space hit 70 so this will cap your fps and you'll be getting a smoother experience over here to play the game Ah. 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 so that's how you can get cs2 on your mac os silicon devices and you can enjoy this game without any crashes or any other thing so i hope the video was informative so please make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button that helps me a lot to make such more contents so please like and subscribe peace out